The Nuclear Regulatory Commission says Next Era Energy hasn't justified its plans. Next Era Energy will try again after applying to make a wide range of changes to its emergency response plan at Seabrook Station. Proposed changes include reducing the number of workers trained especially for dealing with radiation exposure instead of having other staff members fill that role. So although they're not reducing the number of staff employed by the plant, they're reducing the number of staff at the plant that are trained and certified to fulfill these emergency response roles. Sarah Abramson is the executive director of C10, an advocacy group for communities within a 10-mile radius of the nuclear power plant. She says the proposed changes could put those communities at risk. Concerns about a potential disaster were made worse in the summer of 2022, when a false alarm was triggered over loudspeakers at Hampton Beach, creating a temporary panic that something had gone wrong at the power plant. Under the proposed changes, key staff would be given more time to reach the facility in the event of an emergency. Every minute counts in an emergency. We're talking about changing response times from 30 or 60 minutes up to 90 minutes. That's a 50% or a doubling of, res of the response time. She's also concerned about road conditions following recent storms that caused a lot of damage on the seacoast. The roads that people would use to evacuate if there was a radiological emergency were unusable. It is on people's minds that these coastal storms and, and these storm surges are not just impacting our roads, but also crashing against the plant. Now, in a statement, Next Era Energy said it would be providing more information to show how these changes would improve safety. Reporting live in Hampton, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.